specific conditioning is any uh, non-weight bearing or non-running activity that's designed to um, reduce load and improve physical performance. The Watt Bike's impact for me uh, with the All Blacks is, is measured by our ability to work really, really hard, change physiology, change or stress the neural system, and, and something that's reasonably biomechanically similar. And we're able to increase our load, increase our fitness, and have no risk of injury. So, you know, we can be getting fitter as a season um, goes through and having less injuries. There's been some really good data uh, collected showing that if we are training on a watt bike and, and having athletes complete repeated high intensity efforts, um, and we have other athletes repeating high intensity running efforts, um, all of similar duration and similar um, outputs, there is just as good a transference um, from the bike to sprinting as there is from sprinting to sprinting. So, you know, there's some good evidence that suggests that we can actually improve our output running through watt bike sprint training. Off feet conditioning is vital for rugby players, in my opinion. Uh, we have large humans, uh, 130, 140 kilos, some of them, and obviously weight bearing activity is, is, is quite tough on joints and muscles. So we're needing athletes, particularly rugby players, to be very strong, very powerful, very fast, uh, and be able to repeat those, those attributes um, often. So off-feet conditioning is a way of improving our ability to express that on the field, in a game, in a match, um, all shapes and sizes of rugby player uh, to the best of their ability. We've been collecting some data um, here in New Zealand looking at rugby players and rugby league players and, and how bike sprinting outputs relate to, I suppose, other aspects of physical performance. And it's pretty clear that if you can jump high or sprint fast, you also have a high power output in a six second sprint on the watt bike. So there's a good relationship there and so we can be assessing physical performance or outputs in game specific manner without doing it on the field. We've been using watt bikes in our environment for a number of years and it's become sort of part and parcel of our, of our traveling team. And I know from a player's perspective that there's a number of athletes that don't sort of feel like their preparation's done for the week unless they've had their watt bike hit. And, and often it's dependent on the routines, habits, but also how they feel when they've banked that hard work. So there's an element of confidence. Um, so we, we, have, we have regular uh, windows of opportunity to, to do some hard, hard work um, in our week and, and the Watt bike plays a big part of that. And the players have become a little bit reliant um, on having that, so, so we have Watt bikes delivered wherever we are in the world. The biggest question most people have is, is this transference phenomenon where you know, we're, we're training for a sport that involves running, but we're on a bike. And, you know, we question that ourselves. Um, we constantly try to assess whether there is crossover. And, and I suppose the data that's coming out is showing there's really good transference. And, and the key thing really for me is I step back and I go, biomechanically there's some similarities, you know, single leg modality. Um, physiologically, we're achieving everything that we need to physiologically, whether that's lactate accumulation um, or that, that improved oxidative capacity. Um, and neurologically, we're trying to activate muscle um, quickly, repetitively, under fatigue. And so, you know, there's, there's a whole lot of um, systems there that we're stressing and utilising on the Watt bike that transfer to the field. Not only is, 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 is that um, science-y stuff really, really important, but the mental toughness associated with actually hurting yourself and going deep, you know, uh, going into that hurt box, um, emptying the tank, you know, that's something that is hugely transferable to any sport. The difference between what bike and, and other bikes, you know, other, other indoor bikes, in my opinion, is, is, is huge. Um, you know, the what bike is something that I've tried very hard with a number of athletes to break and we can't break them. Um, they're very sturdy, they're very reliable. And when you have a, a, a tool as part of your program, um, that's what you need. You can't be, you can't be having things break. Um, you can't be having data that's unreliable. Uh, you can't be having the experience of the machine uh, being something where athletes get off frustrated 
Um, you know, the data that the Watt Bike provides allows competition, and we know athletes love competition. The data is really accurate. You know, so all those reasons make the Watt Bike a massive um, tool that is hugely beneficial for any environment. All sports can benefit from my feet conditioning, in my opinion, whether it's an individual sport or a team sport. All of us are trying to improve our capacity and you know what off-feet conditioning offers is flexibility um, and I suppose transference in different aspects of the physiology. Uh, we have individuals that could benefit from extra aerobic work when the weather's bad uh, and we're not outside running. It could be that football players or basketball players you know are playing regularly and there's a lot of um, game specific fitness going on but we're needing little aspects of, or little, little top-ups of other aspects of their physical performance.